G'day guys, this is Rob from troutlaw.com.au, Australia's fly tying specialist store. Today we're tying my little version of the Palomino caddis with a heavier ultra chenille in it to give it a bit more of a mothy kind of vibe rather than a, a slimline caddis. So it gives it a bit more of a chunk, hits the water with a bit more of a plop and hopefully it's going to get some big fish attention. So let's get started. We are starting off with a Firehole 316 hook, this time in size 12. And then we're going to come onto that with Vivas 6 or thread in brown, starting from just behind the eye and taking touching wraps down into the bend and we'll just sn snip that off now for the actual body of the fly that sits down in the surface we're using Vivas holographic tinsel in brown we're doing this whole thing in some fairly brown and tan beige kind of colors uh, you can do it however you like you can add any bright colors to it using the uh, the chartreuse in this gives it a nice emerging caddis kind of look. So we're just going to tie that on on the near edge and then bring our thread up slowly, binding that tinsel down along the hook shank. And then we'll work back down over that to give us a nice even surface and then work the thread back up to just behind the eye. Then we can start passing our tinsel around in touching wraps so that it's just coating that hook shank. That's going to be sitting down in the water as the chenille body sits on the surface. So that's gonna hang down into the film and that little bit of sparkle hopefully will help improve getting the fish's attention so we bring that all the way up along the shank and stopping about an eighth of an inch behind the hook eye wrap behind wrap in front wrap behind again trim that off and a couple of wraps around just to hold that in place now for the body we're using hairline ultra chenille usually you'd use this in a micro or a standard size i'm using the medium for this because it's a to do it as a slightly larger fly so we've taken a section of that and we're just going to with our lighter just just melt the end of it to round it off we don't want it to absolutely melt we just want to round that off slightly and then we're going to measure it up so it's about two shank lengths and cut that clean that gets us about where we want holding that in place which we'll do a couple of loose wraps around then pull up to bind it into place and then we can bind the front of that chenille down pulling it back away from the eye just trim off any bits there okay next step we're going to add an underwing we're going to use CDC from Nature Spirit in this case I'm using the tan uh, you can again use any color you like I'm just going for a complete set of brown tan beige sort of colors in this one now I'm taking a couple of feathers out of this pack and what we're going to do is line up the very tips of those feathers so line up the tips bring the centers together and then preen them back so that they're in as one and then we're going to tie that on so the tips are just shy of the end of the end of the chenille so a couple of loose wraps pull that up one more down we'll pull that back 
wrap in front and then we can trim off that excess and then we're going to just start wrapping backwards slightly to build a bit of a head and pull that out of the way now before we put the overwing on we're going to put some dubbing in around this body and for this we're using the new chuck and duck hair and squirrel in the doll bark mix so a little bit of dubbing wax on our thread there we're only going to need just the smallest amount of this so we just pull out a few fibers which will get us what we need and then work that onto the thread to create a nice fine dubbing noodle and then what we're going to do is lift up the wing and the body and do a couple of wraps underneath that to support it and then wrapping forward down to the eye of the hook to create that little thorax section now we're going to put the overwing on over the top of this EDC. For that, we're using Nature's Spirit Select Cow Elk. This is beautiful stuff to work with. Uh, so we're just going to cut away a small section off the hide. Give us a clump of hair like so. Taking that at the pointy end, we can just work out the fluffy stuff from inside. And then pop that into a hair stacker and a couple of good taps. And we're going to do this twice because what will happen is we'll have stacked it fairly evenly, but there will still be shorter hairs in there. So we just preen it out from both ends to get rid of any broken hairs. And give us a nicer stack of hair then that goes back in a couple of good taps to even it out and there we go so we take this from the tip end transfer it back into our right hand and we want to place that on so that it's just shy of where the CDC stops transfer back to the other hand and now with our thumb and forefinger we're going to give that bobbin a spin just to put a twist into the thread so it jumps backwards and then two loose wraps over that hair come up above it and then pull up firmly then another firm wrap one more and then we'll grab all this hair Pass it all back into one clump and put a few firm wraps in front. Then just a little more dubbing. And then we go overboard. Just the tiniest pinch in there. Slide that up the thread. Pull that hair back and then I'll pop a half hitch in to lock that into place and while we've still got the hair in full length we'll put in our whip finish because it's easier to pull that hair out of the way before we trim it. Quick finish that off. Now we just need to trim this down to create the head of the caddis. So separating the front and the back section, pulling the wing down, and then we'll just grab all that and one clean snip. There we go. And that, my friends, is how we tie 
that little Palomino caddis, but with the thicker body to it, so that it's going to be a little bit more like a moth than a slender caddis, and it's going to have a bit more effect when it hits the water. You can just come in with a little bit of head cement on our bodkin and just pop that in either side to make sure that that thread isn't going anywhere. And if we like, you can scruff out the bottom a little. To move some of that dubbing and then trim it up just to, just to neaten it. It's up to you. Leave it messy. Leave it. Trim it to leave it neat. It doesn't really matter. And that's our fly. We're going to take that out in the water this season and give it a, a good run through. I'm going to tie them in a bunch of colours, especially a black and orange combination for when the little cicadas start appearing early in summer. I think that's probably going to have quite an effect with some of our local trout. I'm sure it will wherever you are too. So thanks for watching. As always, all the materials are listed in the description. You can find them down there beneath this. And of course, there's plenty of other materials we have on offer at the Trout Law Fly Tying Store. If you've got any questions, get in touch. We're always happy to help. Remember, if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and most of all, happy tying.